Hi friends, and welcome to another fun video. Today I will take a closer look at how to import coordinates from an Excel file through Dynamo and create points and curves inside the Revit Adaptive Family environment. So we have now opened up Dynamo and we have started a fresh file. The first thing we are going to do is to get these coordinates that are currently in Excel that you can see here into Dynamo. Let's start to set up our script. Search for node data import Excel, which will help us import information from an Excel file. Then we need to specify from which Excel file we want to extract the information from. We press the file path and locate where our Excel file is placed. So we need to close the file before we can link it. And there you go, the link worked. So an Excel document often contains several different sheets. So we need to name the Excel sheet inside the Excel document we want to extract the information from. We just do that with a simple string node. We type in the sheet name, which is ARC1. We hit run and see what we get. So this looks like some juicy coordinates, except the first list which is row 0 in Excel, containing the X, Y and Z letters. Those we would like to remove from the list. We use the node list remove item at index. The index here is 0, meaning we will remove list 0. We add the number node and just link it to the list remove node. We hit run and yet list 0 is gone. The letters is gone from the new list. All right, we obtained the coordinates within Dynamo, but we must rearrange the data structure. Currently, the organization won't allow the node responsible for creating points inside Revit to interpret the data correctly. The idea is to separate the X, Y and Z coordinates by using list get item at index. But important is to set the lacing to longest. Lacing is a feature in Dynamo that allows you to control how lists of different length interact with each other. The lacing mode dictates how one input connects to another input for a given node. I will not go into more detail right now. We go ahead and change the lacing for all the nodes. Let's copy the number node and change 0 to 1 and 2 since the y coordinates are at index 1 and set coordinates are at index 2. Then we connect all the nodes together. So now let's put all the coordinates back together, restructured in a way that the final node will be able to read. We hit the run and look at our points that are now created inside of Dynamo and only inside Dynamo for now. But we would like to export these points to Revit, adaptive family environment. We search for the node reference point by coordinates. This node will create a reference points in Revit Adaptive Family, which we will later use to create a bridge or retaining wall. Let's take a look to see if the reference points did appear in Revit. We go to the Revit Adaptive Family view and yeah, here we see the points pretty clearly. Before we wrap things up, we go back to Dynamo and start creating a line based on the reference points with the node curve by points by reference points. Let's check it out. Yeah, the line has been created. We can now use the line to divide the path or yeah, create the bridge or whatever. And that is the end of this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.